CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. This is CBS 2 News this morning at 4.30. Something bad could have happened. Thank God it didn't. Only on two, a toddler is saved after he ran right into traffic on a busy local street. We want to make sure it doesn't become more dominant. And there's growing concern as more cases of the newest COVID variant show up in SoCal. I'm just like kind of stuck in the middle. And the fallout for Californians as federal unemployment benefits run out. But first, good morning. Today is Tuesday, September 7th. Welcome to CBS 2 News this morning at 430 and streaming on CBS in LA. I'm Suzanne Marquez. And I'm Rachel Kim in for DeMarco Morgan. So great to be with you, especially on this great day. Happy birthday, Suzanne oh, Marquez. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. you know, it's a big day for CBS as well. That's, That's why right. I had to show up on my birthday. You know, people love to take off on their birthday. <laughs> Not when CBS <laughs> Mornings is starting. So That's it's right. exactly. so fun all around. Oh, happy birthday, thank Suzanne. You. Um, here's a look at our forecast and I think you're going to like it today because we're looking at those temperatures still a little warmer than normal. That high pressure system that has brought us a heat over the weekend. It's still with us. Here's a live look right now with our Long Beach camera. So we're waking up to pretty clear skies. We could still see some patchy clouds here and there this morning, but overall 69 for the Long Beach area. And then here's a look at the satellite radar. So you can see it right along the coast for Ventura County. This is where we're seeing some of the patchy clouds. Otherwise, as we head toward the rest of the week, temperatures are going to start to get hotter. So heat advisories are now in place for a lot of our inland communities like the foothills and mountains of LA and Ventura County, the Inland Empire, and some of the hottest temperatures will be over our high desert communities where we had these excessive heat warnings. But take a look at our highs today. Not bad. 70s, 80s, 90s. And we'll have triple digits for the high deserts. Back to you guys. Amber, thank you so much. Breaking news right now out of Hollywood, where a police pursuit ended in a crash on Sunset Boulevard near Van Ness Avenue. This is a live look at the scene from our photographer Dave Gonzalez. LAPD says the chase started around 2.30 this morning after a driver failed to yield. At least two vehicles are involved in the crash. It's still unclear whether anyone was hurt. A part of Sunset Boulevard remains shut down for the investigation. Only on two, a food delivery driver makes his most important pickup of the night, saving a toddler who was running down a busy street. Now, that driver says he went into dad mode to save the little boy. And what a relief. Yeah. CBS 2's Nicole Comstock has this story. Well, that driver tells us his first instinct was to think of his own children. So he didn't even think twice before getting involved. When Gerson Tavares accepted one last request as a food delivery driver, okay, I will. He had no idea what he was really being called to do. That's a two year old boy in a diaper running down a busy Burbank Boulevard in Van Nuys at night in front of his car. As soon as Gerson realized this, he parked it and bolted out the door to try to save the boy's life. The harrowing moments were caught on his dash camera. I, I know if, if, if they um, got out the, the lane, uh, the, the driver me, don't see the boy. The boy is um, a little, little. Gerson waved his arms so that other drivers would see him if they couldn't see the little boy. He thinks he may have run into head on traffic because he was completely distracted by a game tablet. All the time, the, the, the little boy in the game tablet. But Gerson was eventually able to stop traffic and get the boy out of the road right in front of this church. When the, the driving stopped, yeah, okay, I, I got the boy in my arms. And they, oh, thank you, God. I feel like God helped you save him, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not a hero. God is a hero. But Igor can't <laughs> contain his pride life. or his lifelong protector. Yeah, he's a father of four. He says his dad is definitely a hero for risking his...